Hey, welcome back for the Colt Commander video number two. I'm going to be shooting in this video. But right now I'm just warming up the CO2. And I thought it would be a good idea to hold the mag in my hand too. Because it's metal. And, and warm it up as well. Before I put the CO2 in the gun. That way if the, if the mag stays relatively warm, maybe the CO2 will stay warmer longer. One thing I noticed about this gun though is... Uh, when you eject the mag, you, you can't pull the slide. The slide won't release unless you, you push the slide catch on it. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. Not a, not a big deal, but it kind of adds to the realism if you can just pull the slide and let the slide go. I've already loaded the mag. You can see that. the there It's 18 rounds staggered. And I'm using the copper, the Crossman Copperhead BBs. Yeah, so I'll add a little bit of drop of pell gun oil to it so we can keep the the seals in check. There we go. Don't want very much. Now I'll put the CO2 in. And you'll hear a, a pssst when it punctures the cartridge. Don't hear any any leaks, so that's a good thing. Cool. So I'll just keep this in my hand, and I'll take you down range to the target. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back down here at the target. Uh, it's, a, it's a brand new Tim Hortons coffee can, stuffed with brand new rags. They got some magazines behind it just in case I don't hit the target because I haven't have not fired this gun yet. This will be my first time firing it, and I've got a small circle right in the center. That's going to be my aim point. I've got 18 rounds in this mag. Now fire the 18 rounds. Then I'll pause the video and bring you back in the other room, and I'll show you the gun firing. First shot in a second. Loading the gun. Alrighty. Shot number one. Wow, what a blowback on it. And this gun should lock open on the last round. 